an MRI is a, a way that we're able to image children. Uh, we can image any part of their body. It uses uh, magnetic uh, waves instead of radiation. It takes a little bit longer than a CAT scan to perform, but it's a very uh, accurate and very sensitive way to image uh, the inside of a patient's body. An MRI can take anywhere from 30 minutes to over an hour. The length of the procedure depends on what we're looking at. Uh, usually an MRI requires that the a child lie in a bed and go inside the machine, so inside a long tube. And that would require um, either sedation or general anesthesia. For the older kids, we, we try to keep them calm and, and, and relaxed by using headphones, music, uh, whatever it takes to, to get them through it. But Joey completed treatment for uh, medulloblastoma, which is uh, one of the most common brain tumors that we see in children. His treatment consisted of uh, chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation therapy. And now he comes in periodically to get MRIs to just monitor to make sure the disease hasn't come back again. Once we got Joseph into the room, we gave him the headphones with music and the panic ball. What the panic ball does is he can squeeze the emergency squeeze ball, we will pause the exam, and he can tell us what is the matter. And then we can come in and talk to him if there's any problems. We gave Joseph headphones with music, and he chose what type of music he would like. That will help drain out the loud knocking noise. Once he's ready, we'll move him into the tube and start the exam. Very good. Next one's going to be five minutes. You're doing great. Since Joseph's exam needed an injection of contrast, more than halfway through, we went in and did the injection of contrast. What the contrast is meant to do is to go to areas where there's lots of blood flow, uh, and, and tumors typically have lots of blood flow, and that helps highlight the tumor that we're looking at, so we can see even small uh, tumors without uh, much difficulty. Most MRIs need to be read by people that are specialists in MRIs. Frequently, if uh, we do a chest x-ray uh, or more common imaging like that, we can give families very quick reports. In most cases, we can get the result back to the family the same day or the next day. An MRI really gives us the best picture inside uh, a child's body for, most, for many tumors that we look at, whether it's in their um, arm or leg, whether it's inside their abdomen or their chest, or whether it's in their head. An MRI gives us a very clear picture and allows us to look at the uh, tumor from many different angles. It's, it's a great way to help surgeons plan for procedures. It's a great way to help um, radiation oncologists plan for treatment. It's a great way to, to monitor response after treatment. And it's really, for many tumor types, it's the most accurate uh, imaging tool that we have to monitor if the tumor has come back after treatment's completed.